Fang is undisputedly one of the best brawlers inside of the game right now. So inside of today's video, I'm going to be telling us the best tips and tricks that you guys need to know in order to push Fang. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop straight into the video. You guys already know that Fang already has a ton of HP and he needs to be close to people in order to deal a lot of damage. So you guys don't have to really be that worried whenever getting close to people because he'll be able to tank Bruh. some shots. <laughs> Also, since his reload speed is very fast, this is going to help you guys to keep the pressure if you guys get close to people. Just remember that if you guys are going up against shotgun brawlers like Shelly and Bull, you guys should probably just retreat if you know you can't get them down right away. Because more times than not, those kind of brawlers will be able to burst you down before you can get them down. Now, Fang, unlike other brawlers like M's and Tara, can't pierce his shots to go through people. So if you can, when you're trying to charge up your super, Bruh. try to just do it in a 1v1 situation. Since you can only hit one person at a time, if you're in a 2v1 situation, you're going to really struggle trying to charge your super and trying to get them down. Now granted, one of Fang's worst parts about his kit is actually trying to charge up your super at long range, but it is still going to be a good way for you to chip down your enemies. And also, Fang's shoe does travel at a decent speed, so it shouldn't be that difficult to hit your shots if you're good at it. You stupid. Now just remember, each time you connect with your shoe from far range, it will still charge your super the same amount as if you kick somebody within close range. Now the next tip I have for you guys is to try to be extra creative when you guys are using Fang's super. If there's a bunch of people grouped together, you want to try and hit the tank first. Mostly because once you hit that tank and you can hopefully bounce off onto somebody else, hopefully the person that you bounce off to after the tank has less HP. This way, once you bounce onto them, you'll deal damage and you can also use your gadget roundhouse kick. This will help you stun them and hopefully you can use your super yet again to get your super back and then you can probably go after the tank so what i'm really trying to say here is aim for the most hp brawler and hopefully you can bounce onto like maybe a sharpshooter somebody that has less hp somebody that you know you can get down a lot quicker now granted this will only work if you guys are using fang star power fresh kicks now whenever you guys defeat an enemy using your super you will get your super back immediately so if you guys use your super onto somebody and they are literally within one shot just use your super to get them down and then you'll go ahead and get your super right back and then maybe you can go on to another person or you can run away if you're low now fang's super has quite a bit of versatility as you guys can tell because you can even use it in like gem grab to swoop up the gems and then run away or say for example you go ahead and use your fang super to go on top of a shelly and they have their super hopefully you can kill somebody nearby or maybe you'll bounce onto a lower hp brawler to charge your super and then maybe you can run away before shelly absolutely destroys you <laughs> now when you guys are using fang super you want to try to use it when people are all clumped up together this will make your roundhouse kick gadget a lot more valuable if you can stun multiple people this will just make it a lot more chaotic and hopefully you'll be able to chain your supers pretty quick now another way that Fang Super can be pretty useful is that if you're playing on a pretty opened up map and you need to get close to people in order to get them down, which obviously you do, then you can go ahead and use Fang Super to cut down the gap between you and your enemy. And if you're playing a brawler like Piper where they obviously do the less damage the closer they are, then Fang Super is a great way for you guys to get those long range brawlers down. Now something to keep in mind about Fang Super is that you can kind of think of it as like a bowl super, however it won't knock people back or get them in hit stun when you hit somebody. So this is why I also advise you to really watch out when you're playing against Bowl or like Shelly. Brawlers that can do a ton of burst damage really close up are the ones that you're gonna have the most trouble against. Because even if you super directly onto them and you deal a ton of damage, they're gonna be able to attack you right as you go onto them. Now this is why I recommend when you guys are playing against tanks, you guys only use your super when they're pretty low and you know you can get them down. Other than that, if they have a lot of HP, just try to use your normal kicks when you're at close range to deal damage and then use your super to go ahead and confirm that kill. Now a common mistake I see with a ton of people is that they play Fang just Bruh. way too aggressive. What the fuck? Yes, Fang's reload speed is very fast, but his unload speed is not the greatest. What I mean by this is that, yeah, he's going to be getting ammo back pretty quickly, but in order for him to, like, really burst people down, it's not going to be that quick. So if you guys are going to be rushing into people, make sure you have at least all of your bars of ammo, because if you guys try to rush onto people with only one bar of ammo and you expect to kill them, it's really not going to work out for you because his burst pretty much sucks. This is why it's probably better to target one brawler at a time, unless you're playing on a map or a game mode where people are bunched up quite a bit and they don't have a ton of HP, then you can pretty much chain with Fang Super, use your roundhouse kick and get a ton of kills. Also another thing with Fang Super is make sure when you guys are gonna go ahead and use your super, make sure you have a decent amount of health as well. Because even though you're gonna be using your super, it's not like you have an invulnerability shield on you. Now say for example, you're gonna try to go ahead and use your super on top like a Tara. If Tara has all of her ammo saved up, she's still gonna be able to burst you down because you're not gonna be invincible during your super so like i stated you just need to really watch out and be aware not to play too aggressive and make sure you have a lot of ammo and hp when you use your super now something i see very commonly with a lot of fang users is when you're trying to go onto people they auto aim their super <laughs> 
and most of the time they're gonna end up missing by going into a wall or they're just gonna completely miss the brawler in general obviously when you guys are trying to get onto that brawler initially you guys should be aiming your super after that and you're trying to change supers using the fresh kick star power then you can go ahead and spam that super button pretty much once you're in that chaotic moment where you're bouncing off a ton of people that is the only time when you should be auto aiming your super the main reason is because you want to be bouncing off as much people as possible and using that fresh kick star power to the best of your ability all right now let's quickly talk about the best build you guys need to be using for fang obviously throughout the video i was talking about using roundhouse kick so you guys obviously want to be using that gadget this gadget overall is going to be better because being able to stun people after you guys use your super is going to help you guys confirm a lot more kills but even when you're not using your super and you need to just stun people in general this gadget is going to be better than corn food now for the star power i also talked about throughout the video you guys need to be using fresh kicks i mean this star power is just the icing on the kick and what makes fang so good this star power is really what makes fang so good because it helps you really chain your supers if it wasn't for the star power right as you kill somebody using your super you would not be able to get your super back immediately this just completely saves all that time that you literally need to use trying to charge up your super with your far away kicks and also within the recent set of balance changes they actually buffed it so that it's even easier to charge your super now for the gear this could be a little bit controversial but i recommend the first one you guys gotta go is speed gear the main reason for this is because you guys want to be using bushes as much as you guys can to get close to people but if you're playing on a map that doesn't have a whole ton of bushes then you can go ahead and use the damage gear if you guys do end up using speed or damage in the first gear slot the other gear slot you guys could use the extra gadget gear since roundhouse kick is such a crucial part of fang's kit as well having the gadget charge gear is going to help you guys have that extra gadget inside the game and hopefully you guys can make a little bit more plays with it now i would talk about some of fang's best gamers but you guys can literally play fang anywhere he can be a solid gem carrier and gem grab because he can dash out he can be a good brawler in brawl bar or hot zone because those are gamers where people are mostly going to be bunched up he can also be very solid in wipeout knockout and bounty those type of game modes because his ability to absolutely carry and team wipe people is what makes him so valuable overall there's just a solid reason why he's the best brawler in the game because he's definitely one of the most versatile brawlers in the game as well just make sure whenever you guys are playing fang whatever game mode whatever map it is you guys are chaining supers as much as possible because that is the true key to success when pushing fang and well there you guys go the best tips and tricks to help you guys push fang best of luck push him now because he's absolutely broken well anyway guys i think that's gonna go ahead and conclude today's video mahalo nui loa ahoy ho see you guys in the next one